In today's video, I'm sharing how I run my online business as an artist without a smartphone in 2022. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Ashton. I'm an artist and surface pattern designer and an online business owner, and I've been running my business without a smartphone for the past 10 months or so. Today, I wanted to share my tips with any of you who have a business and are looking to make the switch to a dumb phone. As a disclaimer, I know the concept of this video is a little bit wild for anyone who successfully ran a business prior to say, 2007 because smartphones are definitely not a necessity to run a business. But many of us have started and grown our businesses entirely in the era of smartphones. We've forgotten or never knew the way of doing things analog. I'm talking to myself here. These tips are for me as well. I'm right there with you. Let's get into the tips. Number one, find ways to do everything on your computer rather than your smartphone. This is helpful for removing the dependency on your smartphone, but also it limits your work activities to your desktop computer or your laptop. And I found that that results in less screen time for me and better work-life boundaries because the physical size of a computer limits you from taking it everywhere. So I find that helpful. It's just not possible to do my design work anywhere other than my desktop computer. I have to be in front of my desk to do my work. Sometimes that can seem like an inconvenience, but at the end of the day, it actually causes me to be more productive during my work time when I am in front of the computer because that's really the only opportunity I have to be focused on the task. Number two, a great website is critical. I would argue that really any business, whether you're a brick and mortar business or an online business, you need a really great website and your website just needs to be functional and easy to look at. So it needs to have a portfolio of sorts showing pictures of your work or examples of your work, maybe customer reviews or testimonials, and have a way for your customers and clients to contact you and engage with your products and services and make it clear how they can work with you. Number three, an email newsletter is super important. So the majority of my orders from, for my online shop actually come from my email newsletter. This has been the case when I had a smartphone and I was very active on Instagram and it's still the case now. A newsletter lets you reach the people who are the most engaged with your business directly in their inbox. So it's not like being on social media and just sort of shouting your message out and hoping that the right people will see it. With email newsletter, you are emailing them directly and you know that they're your most engaged customers. They are the people who have come to your website and signed up for your newsletter. They are ready to buy your products and services and they are waiting for an email telling them when your products and services are available. Number four, go beyond social media marketing. So you can still access social media through a computer, but the experience is not quite the same. And I found that the algorithm, um, for example, on Instagram will punish your account for not using all of the features of the mobile app. So if you're still using social media marketing, that's fine, but I would definitely recommend adding other marketing strategies if you don't already have them. The good news is that most marketing ideas actually don't require a smartphone or social media. So I would include YouTube videos, Pinterest. Um, these are actually search engines, not social media. Although they might have social media features, primarily there are a um, search engine. So people will engage with your content by searching for it and then finding your content. And the great thing about both YouTube and Pinterest is that your content will stay up for a very long time and people can potentially be engaging with your content months and years from now. I would also add to that blogging, podcasting, search engine op optimization for your website, um, handing out flyers or business cards to local businesses, um, connecting with fellow business owners so you can refer services to each other, and then reaching out directly to clients, uh, potential clients or past clients and asking them if they would like to work with you again. You can also go to local events, meetups or trade shows in your industry. Those are just some of my ideas. I'd love to hear your marketing ideas that don't require a smartphone in the comments below. And fifth, but definitely not last, you will need to plan ahead. So personally, I use a combination of digital and paper planning to plan my week, plan my content, plan everything from my business. I have a video showing um, how I plan my week and my content, so I will link that for you. It's a very simple system. I use Trello and iCal on my computer to do that. And I also plan my day on paper. So there's lots of videos on my channel showing how I plan with paper planning and journaling. And so you can pick up lots of ideas there if you would like, but if you're used to relying on your smartphone for your schedule and your to-do list, you definitely will have to change those habits. 
just keeping a notebook with you where you can write down to-do lists and things like phone numbers, addresses, um, directions, confirmation numbers, anything that a smartphone might store for you. I think that's a great idea to write down in a notebook. I know it can be a headache at first to have to write down this information, uh, but I challenge you to think what would happen if your smartphone battery died and you didn't have access to a phone charger or an outlet nearby? Would you be able to get your work done? I think it's a great idea to be planned and prepared even if you are using a smartphone because you never know what will happen. Planning and preparation for your week ahead of time is huge if you're running a business no matter what. Those are just a few of my tips and tricks for running a business without a smartphone, but I would love to hear yours, so definitely leave them in the comments below. Thank you for watching today's video, and I will see you again in the next one. Bye! Don't deny that.